Auditor General Edward Duco has unearthed revenue leakages at the Attorney General's office and says taxpayers could have lost SH 152.3 million. According to the latest report, the AG's office could not account for revenue generated from platforms contracted to collect money for services during the 2015 16 financial year. The auditor flagged various revenue streams and concluded there was no evidence to show if the money collected was wired to the National Treasury as required by law. SH 138. 6 meters withheld. SH 152,361,312 could not be confirmed as received by the National Treasury, and no explanation for this anomaly has been provided by the management, the report says. UCO put outgoing AG Guy Thumye Guy's office on the spot over non-remittance of income to the revenue account domiciled at the central bank. He questioned why only SH 66.1 million out of the SH 204.8 million collected by the Postal Corporation of Kenya, on behalf of the office, was remitted to the revenue account. It is not clear why a balance of SH 138.6 million of the revenue from Hudima centers was withheld and not wired to the central bank, it said. The report said this raised concerns money could have been siphoned off. This is contrary to the provisions of the contract agreement, which required monies collected by the corporation to be remitted to the revenue account on Mondays and Thursdays of every week, the report states. Cash for Registration the corporation has a contract with the AG's office and the Department of Justice to collect revenue for name search and reservation, registration of business names, registration of companies and registration of welfare societies. The auditor also revealed that the AG's office was unable to account for SH 11 million collected through the e-citizen platform during the year under review. This was money received by June 30, 2016 for name search and reservation, registration of companies and registration of business names. However, there was no evidence this amount has been remitted to the Treasury as required, the report said. The auditor also flagged SH 1.5 million collected by Safaricom on behalf of the AG's office in respect of name search on its behalf. UCO says by June 30, 2016, the mummy had not been remitted to the Treasury. The AG's office is also on the spot for irregularly paying SH 5.8 million to a law firm as interim fees for representing the office in civil case number 461 of 1015 petition number 562015. UCO says the payment by the official receiver was illegal as the law firm was not lawfully procured.